Okay, so hi guys. If you keep your Venus flytraps outside most of the year, or even sometimes they just do it on their own, you'll notice that your Venus flytrap will flower. And either if you know that your plant is healthy and it goes through proper dormancy, either you'll let it go through with the flowering process, or you'll cut the flowers. If you decide to let it go through the process, eventually your flower stalk will grow from few inches to closer to five or eight inches so it'll start down here and keep growing and growing and growing and growing and growing and growing and growing until it'll divide up here and you'll get your Venus flytrap flowers that will open up usually a few a day so what I'm going to do is today is show you guys how to pollinate your Venus flytrap get this put all the way. Okay, so for starters, let's go through some basics. Um, to be honest, it's kind of escaped my mind what all the sex parts of the Venus fly of what the flower are, but we definitely have a stigma. And if I recall correctly, that's where you want the pollen to go. So maybe I'm not gonna reference names, but let's put it this way. You have your female part, which is here in the middle. Oh, by the way, you're going to need a few things. Quite obviously, you're going to need a Venus flytrap that's flowering. Once the leaf, once the flowers look like they're in age, that they're about to open, like this one here, the tip starts to go white, and you can tell it's going to split and open up. Then you want to be ready for this, because you only have a few short days to get it done. So I actually use a pair of tongs instead of a uh, paintbrush because I think it works better. I can really guarantee fertilization. What I like to do is I'll pick off one of the pollen stems and rub it all over the stigma or the female sex organ. So what you need to do for starters is you know that you have let's see if I can focus a bit better, sorry. Okay, you know that you have the anther, which may be the male part of the pollen. You have these little pollen guys, and then in the middle you have the stigma, and it's sticky. What you need to do is wait for the flower to get to an age where that stigma is going to become fuzzy. It's hard to explain, but like, it looks... See, on this one, it's just round, right? Right there in the middle. But on this one, it's it's fuzzy. It sticks out and it's fuzzy. So you wait till that looks like that. And what you want to do, or what I do at least, is on one of the flowers, I'll go in and take one of these stems of pollen and just pull it off. So now I have it right here. Can't even see it, but yeah, that's it. So now what I'm going to do is just hold that there. And I'm going to go around in all the flowers and rub that on the stigmas that are fuzzy. So just stick it on and make sure some pollen gets on there. And you want to really make, like, there's no such thing as over-pollinating. So just, if you really can, make sure you see a lot, a nice coat of pollen stuck to it. You want to make sure that that plant's going to get fertilized. Also, if you keep your Venus flytraps outside, you can just hope for the best that the bugs or insects, the flying insects around your plant will pollinate it on its own. So, if you're lucky, your Plants might just pollinate your, or your, sorry, the insects in your garden might just pollinate your plants. So yeah, that's one. Kind of over poll, I mean not over pollinated, but I did it more than I needed to, so you don't have to do it that much. Let me go ahead and do this one now. And now I'm gonna do this one. Change the angle.
think most of the pollen's off that one, so I'm going to pick another one. And I think I might also redo this one here. Oh, sorry guys, I wasn't even filming it. It's ridiculous. Okay. Redo that. And that one here. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then this one here is just opening now. So yeah, you'll get hundreds of seeds doing this. If you do this to each flower, you're in good business here. We'll be selling Venus fly traps now. <laughs> I mean, technically you could, but... And then after that, you just wait till your seeds mature, and then you can... Before the seed pod cracks open, you can take your seeds. But hopefully I'll get a video going before that. To show you how to do it. When my seed pods are ready. Alrighty then. Thanks for watching. Bye.